right now is get our peanut butter and jelly pancakes started, our PB&J joints. Now, let me tell you about peanut butter in my household. I mean, I like it, but I don't love it. I mean, I love a lot of different foods, but I started dating my boyfriend. And I did kind of like a food survey start, you know, right in the beginning of our dating. <laughs> what do you eat? You know, what don't you eat? Those questions. And um, one of the things that he loves to eat, peanut butter. So immediately I was like, how can I work this into more dishes? So peanut butter and jelly pancakes. Come on. I mean, I get them in the morning, first start of the day with something that he loves, come on. All right, so we're gonna put about a half a cup of peanut butter in a double boiler here. Really, it's just a bowl over some water. Make sure that the water is boiling, but the bowl is not touching the boiling water. This is gonna help us melt our peanut butter. Now, of course, you can do this in your microwave, but um, peanut butter does have the tendency to scorch, so you gotta really keep an eye on it. But if you're a Mike Sleuth, get it popping by all means. All right, half a cup of our peanut butter goes in. Now that's gonna melt for us. In the meantime, we're gonna build some of the dry components that are gonna go for our peanut butter and jelly pancakes. First things first, we're gonna do about a cup of flour and a couple of tablespoons. Let me get a knife out so I can measure as well. Get a nice even top on it. All right, cup of flour goes in. And I really love these pancakes. They're gonna really cook up nice and fluffy for you. You can add, you know what, if you don't have the sauce I'm gonna show you how to do later, the blackberry sauce, totally okay to like do your own jelly and syrup blend. I've done that before. But let me tell you, the blackberry sauce that's coming up in a minute, mm, it is worth the effort and not a lot of effort. So don't even stress about it. All right, got the flour and the sugar in there. Gonna add to that some baking powder and salt, about a half teaspoon of salt. You might be saying to yourself, wait a minute, this is a pancake recipe, but hey, the salt goes into anything sweet. I feel like you can't taste the sweet without the salt. All right, then we're gonna add a tablespoon of baking powder. The reason for baking powder in your pancakes, that's what makes them rise and makes them nice and airy and fluffy, all right? So I'm gonna finish up our PB and J batter our PB&J pancake batter. That's one egg that's going into the peanut butter. Remember, I melted that over the stove. And then to that, I'm gonna add a cup of milk. I love pancakes. I used to go to the school growing up where I don't even know what day of the week was it they did breakfast, but they'd wrap them with sausage, like in the middle. Oh, it was like the pig in the blanket. I loved it. I'm in love with them. And then of course, you know, my boyfriend with the peanut butter and everything. All right, so one cup of milk is gonna go in there and then I'm gonna add to that two tablespoons of cooking oil. Canola, vegetable, anything that's not gonna add any flavor. So don't do your olive oil with this, okay? All right, one tablespoon in and then another. Now you always add the wet to the dry. You don't wanna do them all at the same time because you want a nice light and fluffy batter. Okay, so I'm gonna whisk this all together. It's gonna be really good. And this is great, it's not gonna be an overpowering peanut butter flavor. You're gonna taste and say, hey, what is this on my tongue? <laughs> it's peanut butter. This is a really cool menu, it makes me feel like I'm on a kid again. Peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I was never one of the crust removers. I'm fine with the crust. Okay, so we're gonna pour all of the wet right into the dry. And the trick again to your nice, light, and fluffy pancakes is not to over mix the batter. Okay, so just stir it in. A couple of lumps are okay. And while you're stirring it, once it gets to the end, you wanna kinda look for texture because these are gonna pour out onto a griddle. So you want it to be loose enough to pour, but not so tight that it's a dollop. Do you know what I mean? So it's a little tight. Add a little bit more milk to that, and then it'll be ready to go on the griddle once we heat it up. And speaking of that, I'm gonna have to preheat it in a minute so it'll be nice and warm. I'm gonna warm up my griddle, and we're gonna start on the syrup that's gonna go on top of our PB and J pancakes. It's gonna be blackberry syrup. Now, like I said before, you can be super lazy and you can do the jelly with your syrup that you bought at the store and mix them together, but this is a nice breakfast. So treat someone nice and hook them up with a homemade syrup. It's simple, watch. We're gonna do a cup of water, and to that we're gonna add about a cup or so of sugar. And that's gonna make our simple syrup. And to that, we're gonna add our blackberries. Now, if you're really into syrup, it doesn't have to be blackberries. It could be any kind of berry. Raspberries, I love doing this with blueberries as well. All right, so to our cup of water, 
almost a cup of sugar, one and one. We're gonna get that boiling, and to that we're gonna add the blackberries. I really love syrup. I usually pour it all over like the meat, the bacon, whatever, the sausage, anything that's on the breakfast plate. Waiting on my blackberry syrup to get nice and thick. Now you know what a syrup looks like, so you know how thick it should be. So we've got the uh, butter on here on our griddle. This is cast iron, so it's a nice, even heat. What I also like about this is you season it up. You don't have to use a lot of butter. And what we have in here is two tablespoons of cooking oil. So it's kind of already got its own built-in lubrication. Just a little bit right there. Now, normally when you make pancakes, you're looking for the bubbles so you know when to flip them. But with these, the bubbles are gonna start showing up around the edges, then start kind of checking under it to see if it's golden and ready to flip because sometimes the peanut butter stops the bubble action. All right, we're gonna finish off our blackberry sauce. And all we gotta do is pour it through the strainer. Now that is gonna be some good syrup on our PB and J pancakes. All right. What I'm gonna do is just use the back or the front of the wooden spoon. Just push it as much as you can. Get the liquid out. Every time I make the syrup, I say to myself, you know, I really should save the blackberries and turn them in some kind of a spread if you're into the seeds. But I am so not a seed person, which is why we're straining right now. Okay, got the most moisture out as I can get. Make sure everything is ready to go with our eggs. And I'm gonna check my pancakes. Just got a couple more on the griddle right now, left over from the batter. All right, they're looking pretty good. Not quite yet, but I can eat these, and I cannot wait. Peanut butter pancakes. Ugh, just half a cup does a world of good. <laughs> All right, so to our pancakes, the blackberry sauce we just finished off. Remember how simple this was? Just water, sugar, blackberries, and a little bit of lemon zest. Adds a nice little kick to it. Give this a taste. I bet it's good. Can't tell you how many times I've had this thanks to my peanut butter loving boyfriend. <laughs> All right. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah. That sauce is so good. I'm gonna pour it on some ice cream. The peanut butter flavor just really pops, just like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. 